Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and this is Pet Rock and Roll. But today I'm going to bring to you round two of Fatal Fangs 3. Yes, we are going to take a look at who it was that went through from round one and we're going to have a look at the round two battle clips. But firstly, what I do want to say is the judges found it extremely hard to choose clips in round one. They had to re-watch and re-watch and re-watch. They had to pull clips apart just to find that one thing that put that pepper stone over the edge of the other. So to all of those contestants who are about to get knocked out in round one, please do not be disheartened. Your clips have not gonna notice. The judges absolutely loved every single part of round one. They enjoyed watching it, they had so much fun, and they do all have feedback, so they do all have their reasons as to why they put through who they did. Now, unfortunately, I am not gonna be able to cram all of that into this video, because we have a lot to get through. But if you do wanna know the reasons why the judges put through who they did, then please don't hesitate to contact me or contact them, and we will let you know. Now also just a reminder that the judges did not confer with each other, there was no discussions going on, their votes were purely their votes. There is one thing though, I was having a discussion with Rob from IBNS Arachnids on Messenger and he off the cuff sent me a voice note and that voice note really resonated with me. What he said in it really rang true. Uh, he did not send it to me to be played in this video, although he's given me permission to play it. So it's not rehearsed, not practiced or anything. This is genuinely from him, from the bottom of his heart. And I think you guys really do need to hear it. So I'm gonna play that for you now. Thanks sis, like I really needed any more stress. Just kidding, I'm enjoying this immensely. It's just. Wow, it's really insane how much effort these people put into this. It's big time respect, every last one of them. They put in some serious time and effort to take a tournament for fun, but to say, hey, look, you know, this hobby means something to me. That was tough, and I believe that the next round is going to be even tougher. I believe that there were some tough contenders that went out first round that just because of the draw, made it to where they went out not because of they it wasn't a good clip it's just because there was just one or two little slight things that pushed their competitor over the edge so yeah i absolutely agree with everything that he said all of the contestants brought their a games and it was fantastic to watch all of you you all deserve to go through but we know that there can only be one winner of each battle and there can only be one champion of the tournament. So the way I'm going to reveal the results to you is the battles from round one will be coupled on a tournament basis. So round one and round two are a couple. Whoever has gone through from those two battles will then go head to head with each other in round two. So I'm sure you are all eager to know these results. So shall we get to it? <laughs> so battle one of round one was the Black Widow's web and she was up against the Tarantula life. But who was it that went through? On a unanimous vote, the channel that went through from this battle was the Tarantula life. Yes, congratulations to the Tarantula life commiserations to the Black Widow's web. The judges really did love your clip. Uh, Kelly really found it entertaining, uh, but unfortunately it just seems that the Tarantula Life had that edge over you in this battle. But the Tarantula Life, now we need to know who it is that you're gonna be facing in round two. So battle two of round one was Stacey's Vintage Creatures up against Arachnoshack. Now again, on a unanimous vote, the channel that went through on this battle was Arachnoshack. Yes, Arachnoshack, you won this battle. Congratulations. Stacy, the judges did love your clip. Kelly did say she would have loved to have seen it a little bit longer, but please don't be disheartened. Just take that information and bring it back tenfold for Fatal Fangs 4. So that means that the Tarantula Life, you are going up against Arachnoshack in round two. Let's have a look at your battle.
I have no comment. I am not going to comment on these battles uh, because uh, <laughs> I just can't. You guys are just all amazing. Like I, I actually can't even, I'm speechless with most of it. I couldn't even say who I would choose to go ahead into the next round. In any case, it ain't my place. It's down to the judges. <laughs> so next we have Dave's Little Beasties up against Robbie's Talking Tees. But who went through on a unanimous vote? It was... Dave's Little Beasties. Congratulations, Dave. You pipped it at the post with your takedown. Robbie, please don't be disheartened. The judges also did love your clip too. Dave just had that edge over you, which means that Dave goes through to the next round. But Dave, who are you going to be facing? Let's have a look. So the next battle from round one was the Tarantula Arc and Ben's Pets. But who went through? Now this was a battle where the winner went through on a two to one vote. And that person was Tarantula Arc. Congratulations, Tarantula Arc. You have gone through into round two. Ben, you did get Rob's vote. So please don't be disheartened because they did all again love your clip. They literally loved every single person's clip. Please don't be disheartened. You did bring it. Uh, it's just, yeah, again, Tarantula Arc had that edge over your clip. So that means that Dave's Little Beasties is facing off against Tarantula Arc. Let's see their battle.
So next is Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks versus Ian Tarantula. But who went through? Again, this was a unanimous vote. And that channel that went through was Ian Tarantula. Congratulations, Ian. Your Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks, I just want to point out that actually your clip from round one was one of my personal favourites. When I watched that, when I was putting round one together, I was absolutely blown away by it. I thought it was fantastic. I really did. And the judges loved it just the same too. Kelly said the pulsing that you did to the music of the Tarantula takedown was absolutely incredible. But Ian's clip just had that edge over you. And that is why the judges chose Ian's clip. So congratulations again to you, Ian. But Ian, who are you going to be facing? So the next battle from round one was Spoods and Stuff versus Flawless Fangs. But who went through? Now, again, this was a two to one vote from the judges. And the channel that went through was... Flawless Fangs. Congratulations, Flawless Fangs. Spoods and stuff, your clip. Again, the judges absolutely loved it. The tarantula that you used was absolutely beautiful. Um, but Flawless Fangs, the judges loved your different angles. They were absolutely blown away by your clip. And so congratulations to you, dude. And so that means that Ian Tarantula, you are gonna face off with Flawless Fangs. Let's have a look at their battle. Harpeteria Polkwipes, Golden Blue Leg Baboon. My most favourite spider in my collection. She is an absolute stunner. Just look at the striking colours and you know, not bad takedown to go with it either. But more again, it's just the beauty of this spider that made me choose this clip. I mean, how can I not choose this spider in my clips? She's my favourite one. And for an old world baboon, she's such a calm, collective spider. But I still wouldn't trust her though. But absolutely stunning. Exotic Carlo against Glorified Pet Rocks. This again was a two to one vote and the person that has gone through is Glorified Pet Rocks. Congratulations, you have gone through to round two. Again, I'm just going to be repeating myself because the judges loved everybody's clips. They loved this battle too. Uh, in particular with Carlo, they loved the comedy side of your clip. Kelly said that she absolutely loved seeing the coloration and with the lighting that you did on your GBB. So again, again, please don't be disheartened. I do feel like I'm repeating myself, but I kind of feel like I want to make sure that those people that haven't gone through, that it didn't mean your clips weren't great or fantastic or you didn't put effort in it just simply meant that your opponent had that edge over you so glorified pet rocks who are you going to be facing the next battle was hardcore tarantula man versus johan exotics but who went through the winner was johan exotics yes johan you went through on a unanimous vote Again, the judges did love Hardcore Tarantula Man's clip. It's just that Johan Exotics had that edge. So that means Glorified Pet Rocks, it's time for you to go up against Johan Exotics. Let's see the battle.
So next is Bex Exotics versus Callum Ray. But who went through? Again, this was a two to one vote and the person that went through was Bex Exotics. Congratulations, Bex. Callum, it was Kelly that voted for you. She absolutely loved your clip. She loved the reflection of the eyes on the tarantula. She absolutely thought, thought it was fantastic. But the other two judges went with Bex Exotics. Uh, they found that her clip just had the edge on yours with that tarantula jump onto the tongs. But Bex, who are you going to go up against? So the next battle in round one was Dapper Exotics versus Skarner Exotics. Now the person that went through, went through on a unanimous vote and that person was... Skarner Exotics. Congratulations, Skarner. Dapper, the judges did love your clip. They loved the comical side that you put to it. That was a great twist that you put on that clip. They just felt that Skarner had the edge with the multiple angles and the close-up shots. But nonetheless, they absolutely loved both clips. So that does mean that Bex Exotics, you are going up against Skarner Exotics in round two. Let's see your battle. So next then is Heather Spiders versus Wheezy Vet Tech. Now the person that went through, went through on a two to one vote and that person was Wheezy Vet Tech. Congratulations Wheezy Vet Tech, you have gone through to round two. Again, the judges loved both clips in this battle. They found it hard to pick, but they had to pick somebody and Wheezy Vet Tech just did have that edge. But Heather, don't be disappointed because they also did love your clip too. Honestly, they all found this whole entire tournament so difficult because they loved each and every clip that they were watching. But who is Wheezy Vet Tech going to go up against? So the next battle then was Jennifer's Tarantulas versus Tatiana's Tiny Zoo. But who went through? On a two to one vote, the winner was... Tatiana's tiny zoo so congratulations Tatiana for going through to round two Jennifer your clip was absolutely loved the judges really did love this battle between the two of you so again don't be disheartened because you did bring it and the tarantula that you actually used in your clip was absolutely stunning but that means that Wheezy Vet Tech it's time for you to go head to head with Tatiana's tiny zoo let's have a look at your battle Samanekumushi da to kaodo ni mo kikan wa o mae wa mou shinde iru nani 
So next we have Satya's Invert versus HD Arachnids. Who did the judges choose? Now this was a two to one vote and that vote went to HD Arachnids. Congratulations HD Arachnids. Again, Satya, don't be disheartened. The judges really did love your clip. For me personally, you used a Balfouri, so. <laughs> but HD Arachnids, who are you gonna be facing? So the next battle from round one was Mike's Exotics versus Couchlocked Arachnophobia. Now the judges all voted the same on this battle, but who did they vote for? It was Couchlocked Arachnophobia. Congratulations, Couchlocked. Mike, again, the judges loved your clip. It's just that Couchlocked had that little bit of an edge over you. So this means that HD Arachnids, you are going up against Couchlocked Arachnophobia. Let's have a look at your battle.
So next was Angel and Tom's arachnids versus ours arachnids. Now again, this was a unanimous vote from the judges. But who was it that went through? It was Owls Arachnids. Congratulations, Al. You have gone through to round two. Angel and Tom, again, don't be disappointed. Uh, the judges loved your clip like they loved everybody's clips. And I, this is genuine. I'm not just saying this to make you all feel better. I am genuinely telling you that they really did love everybody's clips. But to find out who Al's Arachnids is now going to face in round two, let's have a look at the next battle from round one. It was Nicole's Tarantulas versus Spider-Man 1978. Now this was a unanimous vote by the judges, but who went through? It was Spider-Man 1978. Yes, congratulations Spider-Man, you have gone through to round two. Nicole, please don't be disheartened. The judges did enjoy your clips too. Uh, it's just that Spider-Man just had that little bit of an edge over your clips. So this means that ours are arachnids. You are going head to head with Spider-Man 1978. Let's take a look at your battle. Hi, and thank you for joining me with the brand new series where we will discuss how badly I need the toilet. No, wait, we can cut that out, right? Okay. In this series, we'll discuss is a roach faster than? And in episode one of is a roach faster than, we'll see if a cockroach is faster than a tarantula. Oh, wait. Guys, guys, was was that meant to happen? Yeah, like that know, fast? It's, just keep oh, going. Keep um, going. Keep going. it turns out that a cockroach is not faster than a tarantula. And now we are just left with this awkwardness, which reminds me of a meal with my wife. Mouth full of food, eyes staring into my soul, judging me. Oh, the horror. Guys, I think we may need a new series. Next, we have Winter Night up against Midgard Arachnids. But this was a two to one vote. So who went through? It was Midgard Arachnids. Yes, Midgard, congratulations. You have gone through to round two. Winton, please don't be disheartened. I do have to say that Kelly thoroughly enjoyed your clip and she did vote for you. She loved when the spider ripped apart that cricket and the body was still twitching of the cricket. Her words, I think, were that she enjoyed how gross it was. <laughs> so the next battle was Ellie's Bug Babies up against Jagger's Tarantulas. And again, this was a two to one vote. But who went through? It was Jagger's Tarantulas. Congratulations, Jagger's. You've gone through to round two. Ellie, please don't be disheartened. Richard actually chose your clip. He found that your clip had the edge over Jagger's, but the rest of the judges found that Jagger's Tarantulas had the edge over you. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. But again, both clips were absolutely fantastic. And so that means that Midgard Arachnids, you are going to go head to head with Jagger's Tarantulas. Let's have a look at your battle.
have Lee's Creature Features versus Mark's Tarantulas. Uh, who went through? On a unanimous vote, the channel that went through in this battle was Mark's Tarantulas. Congratulations, Mark. Lee, Lee, we're now in the same boat, dude. I went out in round one of Fatal Fangs 2 against Mark. So, you know, don't be disheartened. Come and join the club now. We're going to make a, a gang of us, I think, who went out in round one against Mark's Tarantulas. But again, the judges did love both clips. Uh, there was a comment from Richard for Mark. Uh, I'm not going to say it. I will write it here. This is what he said about your clip. <laughs> so the next battle is Mr. Grindler's Creatures versus the Wild Wonders of South Africa. But who went through? Now this was a unanimous vote. And the channel that went through in this battle was Mr. Grindler's Creatures. Yes, congratulations to you, Jaden. You went through to round two. Now, Leon Lartigan from the Wild Wonders of South Africa. The judges did absolutely love your clip. They loved the humour that you brought with it. But they felt that Mr. Grindley's Creatures clip just had that edge over yours. So that means that Mark's Tarantulas, you're going head to head with Mr. Grindley's Creatures. Let's have a look at your battle. So next is Black Wolf Ebbs up against Spider Spiders. Now this was a two to one vote and the channel that went through was Spider Spiders. Congratulations to you, Andy. Ebbs, please don't be disheartened. You won the vote from Rob. He absolutely loved your clip. And to be honest, all three judges found this round really hard to judge. They rewatched this one over and over and over and over again. But Kelly and Richard just found in the end, Spider Spiders just had an edge over you. So the next battle was the Inver Kingdom UK versus Arachnodan. And this was also a two to one vote. And the channel that went through was the Inver Kingdom UK. Congratulations to you, Sidex. You have gone through to round two. 
Arachnoid Dan, the judges did absolutely love your clip and you got Richard's vote to go through to round two. But the other two judges found that the Invert Kingdom UK just had that edge over you. So that means that Spider Spiders, you are going to be going head to head with the Invert Kingdom UK. Let's have a look at your battle. So the next battle was the Fatal Franks creator himself, Mr. Bugman Sam from Bug Realms. And he was up against the Invertebrarian. Now the judges found this battle really hard and it was a two to one vote. And the channel that went through was Bug Realms, congratulations Sam, you went through to round two. Adam the Invertebrarian, Rob chose your clip. He watched this round about 20 times. He just found it so hard uh, and then in the end settled with going for you. Um, but Kelly and Richard chose Sam. So the next battle was Deadly Tarantula Girl up against Conda Kid. Now the judges unanimously voted on this battle, but who was it that they voted to go through? It was Conda Kid. Yes, congratulations Conda Kid, you have gone through. Now Deadly Tarantula Girl, the judges did love your clip. Kelly did find that maybe the transitions was a little bit too speedy for her, which is why she went for Conda Kid. Um, but overall, they absolutely enjoyed watching it. Personally, I loved the clip itself. I liked the quick transitions to the beat of the music. That's very much something that I try and do with my videos. Um, but yeah, Conda Kid just had that edge over you. So that means that Bug Realms, you are going to face off against Conda Kid. Let's have a look at your battle.
next is the Spider-Man versus Count Jonathan. Now, yes, the judges did do a unanimous vote on this one, but who was it that went through? It was the Spider-Man. Yes, congratulations to the Spider-Man. Count Jonathan, please, please don't be disheartened. I know that you put a lot of effort into producing your clips. What you brought to the tournament was absolutely fantastic. And the judges really did like your clip. It's just that they felt that the Spider-Man just had that little bit of an edge over you. So next up is Arachno Edition versus Tarantula Lady. Now, the winner of this battle won on a two to one vote. But who was it? It was... Tarantula Lady. Yes, Tarantula Lady, you have gone through. Congratulations to you. Now, Arachno Addiction, you did get Rob's vote. He did vote for your clip. Again, the judges did find this one difficult. They had to watch it over a few times, but the majority went with Tarantula Lady. So, that means that the Spider-Man, you are going head to head with Tarantula Lady. Let's have a look at your battle. So next up is the Tarantula Journey versus Raggy Tees. Now this was a two to one vote from the judges and the channel that has gone through to round two is Raggy Tees. Yes, Raggy Tees, you have gone through to round two. Tam from the Tarantula Journey, the judges absolutely loved your clip, so please don't be disheartened. Kelly actually chose your clip as the winning one, uh, but the other two judges just felt that Raggy Tees had that little bit of an edge over your clip. But Raggy Tees, who are you going up against in round two? So the next battle from round one that's going to be the decider of that was the Secret Forest Creatures UK and Tarantula Tastic Enclosures. Now this was a unanimous vote from the judges and the channel that has gone through is Secret Forest Creatures UK. Congratulations Tanya, you have gone through to round two. Tarantula Tastic Enclosures, Steve, please don't be disheartened like with everybody. Unfortunately, it just meant that Tanya's clip had the edge over yours and the judges chose her clip. So Raggy Tees, you are facing off against the Secret Forest Creatures UK. Let's have a look at your battle.
Eight-Legged Art versus Jay's Exotic Menagerie. Now again, this was a unanimous vote on who went through and that person is... Jay's Exotic Menagerie. Congratulations, Jay. You've gone through to round two. Eight-Legged Art. The judges did love the creativity of your clip. They absolutely thought it was fantastic. They just felt that Jay had the edge over you but they still enjoyed the battle nonetheless. But Jay, who are you going to be facing? So the next battle from round one that's going to decide that was Jeremy's Wild World versus Alternative Inverts. Now this again was a unanimous vote from the judges and the channel that is going through is Alternative Inverts. Congratulations, Kieran. You've gone through to round two. Please don't be disheartened, Jeremy's World World, because your clip was absolutely amazing. The judges loved both clips. They did find it hard to choose, uh, but they went with Kieran in the end. But they loved your clip, Jeremy, nonetheless. They really did. So that means that Jay's Exotic Menagerie, you are going head to head with alternative inverts. Let's see your battle. was Darcy's Tea Corners versus Impossible Inverts. Now this was a two to one vote from the judges and the channel that has gone through to the next round is Impossible Inverts. Yes, Gav, congratulations to you. You have gone through. Darcy, please don't be disheartened. All of the judges loved your clip. They loved how creative you was with it and how much effort you had put into it. They just found that Impossible Inverts did just have the edge over you. Kelly actually was the judge that put through for you to go through to round two. You won her vote, but the other two judges chose Impossible Inverts. So who are you going to face, Impossible Inverts? So the next battle was the last battle of round one of Fatal Fangs 3. And that battle consisted of the Paradox Spot versus Bobby's Critter Cave. Now this was a unanimous vote from the judges and the channel that has gone through is Bobby's Critter Cave. Congratulations, Bobby. You have gone through to round two. The paradox spot, again, please don't be disheartened. All of the judges loved your clip. They really did. Uh, they just felt that Bobby's Critter Cave had the edge over you. 
So that means that in possible inverts, you are going head to head with Bobby's Critter Cave. Let's have a look at your battle. that's it guys for round two of fatal fangs three i do hope that you enjoyed it we will find out who has gone through to round three next week so make sure that you join me it will be the same time wednesday at 8 p.m on my channel and it will be a premiere so make sure you join us for the premiere for all of you guys that have stuck with me thank you so 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 much you're absolutely amazing if you can share the video let's share these contestants about let's show youtube these channels because they really are worth watching and they are worth subscribing to again all of the links to all of the contestants will be in the description so make sure that you check them out also there is a viewers favorite vote on this round so don't forget to drop your favorite clip in the comments and join me next week for round three of Fatal Fangs 3. Until I see you next time, please do take care of yourselves and may the best fangs win.